Hey there, Ben Cron here. This is my cover of Big Brother right here. And uh, it looks like it was September of 2000 that came out. Uh huh. And uh, so basically, the background behind this was this was at, it was almost like a little like ramp club where uh, there was this warehouse, kind of an industrial area, and they had, it was like a private club where people would pay rent and have a, a key. And, and through skating FDR, I you know became friends with these guys. And so, so this is in Philadelphia. Yeah, this is in Philadelphia. Yes, yeah. I was living in Philadelphia for a couple of years, and uh, which I always wondered maybe maybe that might have ruffled a couple of feathers where they're like Philadelphia. This guy's not even from here. Yeah, yeah. He's on the cover, but whatever. I spent a couple of years there. I wasn't trying to claim being a local. It just is what it is. Yeah. And uh, so, anyways, yeah, they had this place already fully built out by the time I came into the scene, and. Uh, it was really cool. It was just like, you know, pay your rent, get your key, skate it whenever. It was kind of out in the middle of nowhere, so you could just skate whenever. And uh, it was really, it was, it was a cool spot. But uh, so basically, in a nutshell, Rick Kosick, the OG, I think he was the OG Big Brother yep. staff photographer. Um, he came to town, there was an article in Philadelphia, and he, somehow we took him to the spot there's a bunch of people skating and we were just kind of just hanging out casual atmosphere uh, I think people were, were just hanging out drinking beer and uh, yingling as as they do back there and uh, I don't even remember like trying to take a skate photo I think we were just skating and he was like my little that was my little dog Pee Wee and uh, so Pee Wee just happened to be at the session he, with yeah you? he was just kind of like my little buddy he would he would come along and just hang out and you know hang out at the session and <clears throat> he's like hey why don't you uh, you know take your little dog and do a little ollie there that'd be cool and so uh, there you have it there yeah. it is right there I feel I don't think we tried it a lot of times or I don't really remember and I don't I feel like it might have been just like a one take you know go and uh I mean, his expression says it all. He's <laughs> not completely terrified, but... Yeah, he's a little out of his element. Yeah, he's, he's definitely out of his element. <laughs> um, and I remember when it came out, I was like... I wasn't, like, super stoked that I was doing, like, a one-inch ollie, you know? Yeah. But I, I kind of wished that I had a better, you know, representation. But it's not about that. It's about the, the dog... Yeah. you know really is what it is and I'm doing a little floater whatever it, it is what it is it's about the dog um, and uh, that's about it really um, when was the first time you saw it and had Rick alerted you that you were getting the cover or did you see it at the bookstore or? I'm trying to think I really have no recollection of this like it's weird you'd think I would remember this I don't remember. I, I don't know if, I can't remember if somebody told me. I feel like somebody might have told me because I don't remember being shocked, but yeah, I don't remember at all, which is weird. But uh, it, it turned out I didn't even have Pee Wee that long. He was, he was kind of like an old man when I got him. Yeah. Basically, um, my lady at the time had a family friend and she was like, Okay, they just had a baby and it's not working well with the baby and the dog, the dog needs a new home. And I was like, uh, I don't I don't really want a dog, but we can go, you know, meet the dog and check yeah. it out. And I we got over there and he just hopped right up in my lap and I was like, Ah, oh, difficult to say no, no, he's <laughs> so friendly. And he was so he was kinda of old man and he was um kind of like a grumpy old man, but he was cool. He was down to go to the session. Yeah. And uh, he ended up, he got hit by a car a couple years later. And wow. so I didn't even have him that long, but he was cool. Yeah. And uh, so that's pretty much the this, this story on this one. Um, but thank you, Big Brother. Yeah. Thank you, Pee Wee. Thank you, Rick Kosick. Thank you, Philadelphia. Thank you to all the skate crew, FDR, all that. And what was that warehouse called? Um, Did it have a name? I didn't. I don't feel like it. I don't remember it having a name. It might have had a 
name, but I don't remember this something specific. Gotcha. But it was a lot of ramps packed in, you know, a relatively small area. Yeah. Really cool bolt corners, wooden bolt corners with pool coping. Yeah. Well, it, uh, it, it was it, going up the wall. It had a spine. Yeah. It was a lot of stuff packed in there. It was really, it was cool. It was like a mini ramp warehouse. Okay. Low card. Here we go. Um, I just noticed this. Issue 43. Yeah. Breskinites. <laughs> <laughs> Another BK. Not shot by Breskinites. No. Garrick Ray. Local photographer. Um, let's see what year this came out. I'm going to guess it's like... It's not going to really say the year. 2013 maybe? Could be. There's no years. Oh, there's no? No. Oh, they okay. just did issue numbers, but... Oh, okay. Well, there it is. <clears throat> and I was told this is one of the first co color covers. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, 40. If Al Parton in it, issue 40 was the first color. Okay. Well, there you go. Yeah. Um, so, basically, this one came about. Um, I was skating with Garrick a lot at that time back then. And he told me about this, you know, the BMX track out in the woods. Yeah, but this, this is, you've mi since moved to Portland. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, I've been living in Portland for a long time, but yeah. these guys had this um, full BMX track in the woods, and it was like you know the Big hard yeah. packed baked earth kind of thing. And uh, he told me about this quarter pipe because right here was this quarter pipe. It was it was like a really cool you know like kind of head high type quarter pipe, and he was thinking of taking a picture there. And so I went out there before, you know, meeting up to actually shoot the photo to check it out. And I saw this, there was a hip on the other side and there was this tree sitting out, just like the ideal Wally -E situation. Yeah. I was like, oh, maybe that, you know, could be the, the trick there rather than the quarter pipe. And so it's hard to see because, but these wheels are giant. There were these giant soft wheels I had for, you know rough terrain but they they don't really stand out because they're black so which is pretty cool but um so we went out there and i remember it was it was difficult to get the speed for it because there was a little layer of of loose dust on top of it so you'd have to run and throw your board down and it would surf all over the yeah. place and uh i feel like this was the first attempt that we made at a photo like he had tried a couple different angles and yeah. and this was the first take first attempt and it was ended up being the best one it's just i like the the dust in the background illuminated um so yeah that's pretty much it i mean i i, I feel like i don't think we filmed it which i wish it would have been cool to film it i think that would have looked really cool but you know can't get, you can't always get everything. Get it all. Yeah. But uh, so low card. Again, thank you, low card. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Garrick. Thank you, BMXers for building the <laughs> whole thing. You know. Do you remember seeing it for the first time laid out? Um. First time, I definitely knew about this one. Okay. Like Garrick had told me this was going to be a cover, and yeah I remember being just stoked because I feel like this came out like right around the time that my daughter was born like really very close in time and being just like really stoked like oh wow got a cover at yeah. the same time that my daughter was born very cool the classic covers one cool one from back in the day that I thought was really cool that just uh, one of the first ones that I really was just like wow was the old school Thrasher cover and it was they had some kind of exposition up in uh, Canada, uh -huh. you know, and all the legends from back in the day. And it was Chris Miller doing the front side air, and he's all bloody. Yeah, bloody yeah, knee. Yeah, he's got like a bloody knee, and he's doing just this stylish front side air tuck knee. And it's just really kind of a close up, huh. really image of him over the hip. There's not really much else in there. That was one of the first ones where I was like, whoa, this is cool. But there's so many of them. I mean, I, I always say that one of my favorite covers is the the John Cardiel, where he's riding the wet ramp and he's doing a, a crossbone and he's just twisted in half. He's like 
bent in half. The nose one's going back, and it's just right there in the camera. And you know that and landing is so soggy. Yeah, and there's water. <laughs> you can see he's riding these big wheels, and there's water flying off. And that's one of my all-time favorites. Where it's just it's just so cool because you it has all the details. I think that's a Gabe Morford photo. The Chris Miller one is a uh, Grant Britton, I think. Be Mofo. Oh, Mofo. Because yeah. oh, sorry. Thrasher. Of course, it's Thrasher. Grant yeah. has a similar picture that Even ran in Trans World. Okay. Yeah, but he's but not no blood. Exactly. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, you got to have blood there. And that is a Get rare a shot. That is a rare shot with Chris Miller on Indies. Okay. Where he was always on Goal Wings, but that for whatever reason on that trip he he was riding Indies. Okay. So you know the backstory. <laughs> yeah.